Okay, um, first I'm an immigrant from the Philippines and then I'm a naturalized born citizen of the United States. Then. And then uh, I studied uh, information technology, having graduated from IT Tech in Technical Institute in Indiana, <coughs> Indiana. And then, uh, from there uh, we studied uh, uh, various software like Adobe software. Oh, sir, would you just listen to the question and all the answers? Okay, well, next um, question. What, uh, so your uh, education is, is in information technology That's from IT. Uh, uh, Mr. Kappa, uh, what kind of software do you usually use in your work? Uh, with uh, web designing and development, it's a popular software to use Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. Thank you. We are going to uh, point to the document, is that the affidavit that you provided me? Okay. That's true. Um, yes. Now, uh, was that the uh, birth certificate that or alleged copy of a birth certificate that Mr. Obama posted online? That's correct. Now, was it, okay, let's go to the next page. Okay. So, now, when, uh, the, when Mr. Obama reached the post it, this birth certificate, uh, it was in a PDF file, was it? That's correct. Yeah. Was the file flattened where all the layers, layers of preparation of the file flattened together or done? No, it was not flattened, it was open. So when you open this document in Adobe Illustrator, did you see one layer or did you see multiple layers? I saw multiple layers, uh, at least uh, six layers. Okay, so is that one of the layers? This is one of the uh, bottom layer. Uh, Mr. Baba, would like to point to the number at the top. We have seen just one digit there. Mm -hmm. So, um, they, what are the digits? Were they added in another layer? Uh, yes, uh, they were added from other graphics and uh, added to this uh, number. So, there was one document and then from another graphics, from another document, they added another part of the document. <coughs> uh, I would like to point to the signature, Stanley and uh, here at Has, up to now, nobody has gotten the file, you know, so anybody who uses Adobe, Adobe Illustrator can open the files and then they'll be, I think they will see multiple layers. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next document. <coughs> now, uh, did you also study the tax returns that Mr. Obama posted online in uh, April of uh, in 2010? Yes, I did. Uh, was there the same problem of uh, the file, of file not being flattened? No, it wasn't. Originally, it wasn't flattened, and anybody can open it, and then they will see at least two layers.
Yes, Your Honor. I'm uh, calling uh, Ms. Lyndon Jordan. Good morning, sir. scanners as well as document imaging systems. Okay. They also own the type setting company for 13 years. So, so for 13 years you dealt with type setting yeah. I've been in the current business for 18 years now, so I'm scanners. Okay. 
and um, maintain it. Did you examine the alleged pocket of a birth certificate which was which was posted online by Mr. Obama? Uh, yes, I did. Um, I would like to know if there was if there were points uh if you go in so yes. uh, that you found to be suspicious. Uh what I think you found to be suspicious and uh, I would like first to ask you whether the was following on this uh on, on this document. Um Yes, the hailing we're referring to is around all the type and lines. It's a white line. First, we didn't we, we didn't quite know what it was until we finally actually replicated the form and actually we did the thing and figure out how we ordered it. The hailing was caused by well, it's a it's a subroutine in Photoshop called Unsharp Mask. I have to understand if a if a document like this has any evidence of uh, computer manipulation is a fraud. Uh, since my experience is selling document imaging and actually writing that kind of, those kind of programs, this is what the Department of Health should have done, or what they supposedly have done. They had these original forms. Uh, there was a federal law that was passed in 2005 that required them to scan all the documents. Uh, so, because we have very little time, we have a minute, so what they yeah. Now, normally, if you just take the document, put it in a scanner, would you see how? No, none whatsoever. If you use multiple documents and multiple layers and masking, will you see it? How in them? Yeah, if they do a sharp mask, you did. Okay. Next point. When we are looking at on the, um, on the left side of the document, uh, we see it floating. Now, uh, if the document, if, if the document was just scanned, or put in the scanner, would you see all of the uh, lines sloping, or would you see some of the lines going straight? I'll explain. They said in their own uh, testimony that these documents were in books, the originals. So this was actually scanned on a flatbed scanner, 11 by 17. We've actually replicated the same thing. And uh, so the parallax on that curvature uh, would appear. You'll notice the lines in the bottom are not, are not there again, but the ones on the top are. That's one. But but it would be normal if it was scanned from above. Mr. Boyd, I'm asking, when there is sloping, my understanding is you take a book, you take a picture, you see sloping. But when you have sloping from the line, would you also see each pair line that is sloping similarly? Would you see that? From a scanner, yes, you definitely know what. Was that something that you saw in Mr. Obama's birth certificate or not? Yes, on how they copied it, yes. But where did their lines that went straight? Because, I'd have to explain how a scan works, so we don't want to. No, no, don't have time. Basically, that's normal. We replicated the same thing here. I'm asking you, if you have sloping, if you just go to the scanner, and the lines are sloping. Would you see all the lines sloping similarly? No, if it was on a flatbed, it was just a piece of paper by itself, no. Okay, let's go to the next point. Uh, the um, uh, information that was given to you Yes. 